I'm about to go get a j autograph football. Can you guess whose autograph this is? Give you some time. If you guess Jalen Hurts, that is correct. This is gonna be my Christmas present from my Nana. I've really been wanting Jalen Hurts autograph football and we got it from the Paul Bear Bryant Museum on uh, Alabama's campus. So I'm just gonna go through on how I came to love Jalen Hurts and stuff. So when he was playing at Bama 2016, 2017, he played 2018 too, but like the years he was starting and which I would have been in first and second grade. So I was still little. And I would always remember, like my nanny gets very excited watching Alabama football and I would always hear get up and start screaming, run Jalen, run. And then I always knew Jalen Hurst was the biggest name going around town and stuff. And yeah, so I just came to love him. I, I still remember the day I was in second grade versus Georgia, 2018 SEC championship. And Tua was terrible, and our, all my whole family was screaming to bring Jalen in and stuff. And he finally got hurt, and they brought Jalen in, and he started to come back and scrambled for the winning touchdown. There's this thing every year in Alabama where every year we get a new quarterback, we always say he's the best we've had. We don't compare Joe Namath, though, but... I think Jalen Hurts will be better than Joe Namath was because Joe Namath was only good for a span of time. But Jalen Hurts, I always we all like me and me and my brother. We always thought like he was like he was really good. He was just amazing. And Tua came along. Jalen got benched. They everybody said Tua was the best we've had, better than Jalen. Jalen left and went to Oklahoma, which I'm glad he did because if he didn't, he. he it would have been possible he may have not got drafted. And then we got Mac Jones, and everybody said Mac Jones is better than uh, Tua. And then we got Bryce Young, which all my friends think Bryce Young's the best. After watching LSU, I definitely don't agree. I'm pretty sure Jalen Hurts has two national championship rings. I could be wrong. It could only be one, but I'm pretty sure it's two. I think we won them back-to-back, -back, maybe, but... Yeah, so I, I've always just loved Jalen. Then he got drafted to the Eagles, and which this is I love his mentality because he got drafted to be like a Taysom Hill kind of guy, backup quarterback who can just scramble, but said no to Carson Wentz's job, led his rebuilding team to the playoffs, which you know he just has that fire in him. And um, this year, I mean they're undefeated, and he's one of the top quarterbacks in the league. If not, people put him at the top. You, they can make an argument about that. They're, they're never going to get, like, called wrong for saying Jalen Hurts is the best quarterback in the league right now. He's, like, I think ranked third in MVP racing, but Josh Allen has is number one. But his arm, I think Patrick Mahomes may be now because his arm is hurt. So he's going to play versus Minneapolis, but we'll see how he does. If he throws picks, Jalen Hurts will be moved up there. If he does better than Mahomes, Jalen Hurts could be number one in the MVP front runner. Last year, last season, he had the most rushing yards in the NFL by a quarterback. And I, he just doesn't get tackled at all. Like, he he doesn't get tackled, and he's been throwing a great football. I think he has one of the best completion ratings in the NFL. So, yeah, this ball is very special to me. Treasure it forever. Fly high, Eagles. And I'll see you in the next one.